that the committee has been looking at for this. Um, we'll discuss some of the details of this. I've got some small ones myself for uh, what I'm going to show on this floor. We were asked by the committee to begin to look at some improvements for the park and um, and to look at um, improving some cabin locations and some in the entrance. And so what we did is You've got a copy of what I've got up here, but just to orient you, this is County Park Road coming in where you make the turn into the park. And what we're, what we're recommending is, is creating a new entrance where you've got a one-way in, and if you need to, say, park an RV to, to log in or to, or to you know, check in, you can. Or if you um, aren't going to go in, you can come back out. But basically, it's one way in and kind of one way coming out. We think that that's going to really begin to kind of slow down the traffic. Is it? You know, many times I see cars going in on two wheels going around that corner. But then within that, we're also going to have a little office building. So there's going to be a gatehouse office building there where you can check in. And once you come past there, um, we pretty much have the roads as they are. Um, now, but we're also suggesting doing a bike trail. So you'll see in orange that we've got a bicycle trail that follows around out to the RV camping and also um, begins to come around on top. When you get to the, the one-way road, loop road, it's wide enough that we can do a bike lane without doing anything to widen the road. So we're, we're showing going around the, uh, the one-way loop road there. Um, we're also talking about adding a, a little walking trail around the playground because we see a lot of parents out there trying to do some walking while their kids are playing so they can watch them. Also resurfacing the playground and some new playground equipment. Um, another thing on the loop road, we'd like to really take back the, the lakeside part of the, of the uh, park and do off-street parking on the left side so that you pull off away from it and then you have more space for pavilions and picnicking along the along the lake in some area for more grass and and, um, and getting rid of some of the um, gravel there. Um, we're showing a new conference center but we're um, that wouldn't be in this phase one that we're talking about. It's going to be right there on the point with the with the view and parking associated with that. Um, we're also showing where the pavilion is now. We're going to take that pavilion and move it over to um, to the playground area and add some pavilions over there so that there's some more picnicking can go um, around the playground. And then provide some more picnic pavilion, pavilions along the lakeside. Um, we're showing, um, we're talking about up, um, upgrading the boat ramp and then with this loop that goes out to the, um, the boat slips that we can actually pull in and have trailer parking um, facing back towards the, um, the lake so that you can pull out in, in, uh, and go back the two-way to the boat ramp and put your boat in and take it out. Uh, we have a new boat slip that we're showing. And you'll see that along the cove, what we're doing is we're suggesting moving all of the RV behind the gate and creating more campsites for the RVs. And, and then providing new cabins, and we've got 17 total cabins shown in the cove and along where you see the, where right now where the transients are. Um, we are showing um, some new laundry and uh, showers, or laundry and showers at the restrooms. And um, right now we, we're showing, this is a lot of the existing. We have taken some out of the point so that we can keep that as a shared area with a pavilion and then creating a new road up on the hill with some more campsites. So we're moving, I think, 35 from outside the gate back into inside the gate, um, having a shop, and then we've got some other storage that we're going to have up 
up um, on the hill. And um, I can't really think what else. Am I missing something? Basically, else? everything up there where the old pool house is right now is going to be done. That's right. And it's going to be somewhere else. That's right. Um, in the meantime, before we do the conference center, we're just going to clean that area up and have it be kind of a lawn area until we've got the money to, to do that. Um, I did bring just a little, I did bring a little um, kind of prototypical cabin plan and a look. We were, we were looking at something that would be more a uh, craftsman style. Just pass that along. Um, we think that there probably will be three different prototypes in the cabins. There will be one bedrooms and two bedrooms. Some will have a loft. We'll have to have a handicap accessible um, cabin or two. Um, and then even the gatehouse and the shop, we think that taking the stone and the um, party board and uh, just the crest and stall with the open beams would be a good look to kind of um, carry that through. This particular plan of the cabin is kind of a shotgun, but it's a um, we're we were planning 900 square feet per cabin. This one, as a one bedroom, is about 800 825 square feet. So it's a little bit below what we were going for, but that um, that still works pretty well. And then we think we can do two bedrooms, whether we have a loft up above this or whether we have another uh, we have another kind of prototype where there's um, two bedrooms on the on the first floor. We think bringing the stone in and, and uh, kind of, um, using that on all the buildings would be a nice find mm -hmm. to come and look for that. Mr. Benwell, you want to kind of share some of the possibilities? Well, I'm, you know, if everybody's in agreement to, to do something, that's part of it, then decide what our next step is. You know, we want to come up with a, a blueprint plan for the uh, cabins and, and start bidding out some stuff. Or, you know, I just need to decide, you know, what the course of action is. Uh, you all have a copy, I just handed out a copy of the fee schedule for uh, KPS, which would get us through the design, design development, construction, bidding, so on and so forth. And what we discussed at our last uh, committee meeting was um, to move forward with the design development and then get to the bid process and get this bid out. Uh, we're pretty confident about the numbers, I think. We can have yeah. another copy. I've got a copy that can, you can share with everybody so each. If everyone would like to take a look at this, I think we've handed this out before for review. Uh, this is just an estimated cost. Of course, there's still some, uh, still a little bit of work to be done. There is. Um, this is this is sort of our rough order of magnitude from this concept. The more we know about the, to the topography, the utilities, and just the grading as it relates to cabins and the uh, RV sites will know a lot more um, about these numbers, but I've, we've even done some tweaking on these numbers too based on some um, current information. Questions, comments? I think the biggest things that we see out of this project are the, uh, the bike trail is going to be a big, a big change. Obviously additional boat slips, uh, that's going to be very positive for us. Um, where was the cabins? The cabins right here? Yeah, no. we're showing, you know where the cove is right now yeah. where there are some RVs? We're showing cabins looking out into the cove and then where the transient um, spots are, we're showing cabins along there too. So about nine or ten right there in the cove. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, so seven, eight, nine. nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's eight along here and nine along there. One, I, I like that. That's, I guess, one of these would be used for the park manager to live in. Right. So it would only be 16 or anything. Okay. So that's, that's so this the... plan, you're planning on turning this house down? Yeah. yeah. That, that you know, we're going to move everything that's in that island of trees. You know, it's, over the years, it's that's the most valuable real estate at the park. And it's been used to, you know, just a hodgepodge. There's a, you know, the old pool house and the, uh, the high offs and equipment shed and, and it's just not a, a very attractive so I'm going to make more of a vacation environment. I mean. After reviewing, I think that's what the committee recommended, to clean it all off for now. And though we see the uh, uh, conference center and the amphitheater on this plan, right now that would be left off of the project until we saw kind of what's going to in that and then we may be able to do that in addition uh, in the future. But 
the site would be prepped and would cause minimal distraction then for the rest of the property and other things could be going on uh, if we, if and when we decide to do it. I, in your numbers, I did leave the amphitheater in phase one to so back that out. And, and the, that's the, the way she has it uh, laid out on the top sheet, it does show a good example of all the, all the items that would be included, the playground area playground equipment that I think is uh, very much needed. Like I mentioned, the bike path, um, moving our campground to camping areas, the new cabins, uh, the new boat ramp, the boat slip. So those are the big items um, that are included. There's a, there's a bridge that's needed down here uh, as we get over some of the um, some of the part of the trail for the bike path, so you'll see a, a note on there about a bridge that we have to construct. And, um, and then the surface, there were some questions about the surface of the playground as a rubberized um, um, surface. And then any of the paths that we're talking about would be asphalt. So we're not talking concrete sidewalks or anything like that, we're talking about asphalt. Any other questions or comments? And it's Roseberry Creek. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'd like to do, like I said, is bring this to the next work session again for any other questions or any other comments that we can get answered in before we'll move from there. Hopefully we'll be able to move quickly and at least get in, uh, uh, this hired to do the design development report. The numbers, uh, I think I've given a week or two ago, I gave everybody a copy of what the estimated cost along with estimated revenue and we'll have another copy of that for you next week so you can review that before we do that. Pretty much a break even. Right. I'd like to say that to you we're staying in the project. That's what I'm just saying. I think that's going to be a good job. I don't know what we're going to do out. What do you think? I don't know. You, you might look at the, the history of Goose Ponds Amphitheater. It's, it's not very seldom used except when they have a fireworks show. Really? Yeah. Is it because they just don't utilize it? I can't see that. This one's going to be up on the hill, you know, where the old pool is at. Yeah. But the weather doesn't permit around here use. You know, yeah. by, well, there's there's use. one there now. It's a covered little area. And the yeah, way I understand stage. it, it's pretty much just going to be another stage area. Yeah, we, yeah, I think we plan, to, we plan to leave the stage. Is that the recommendation? To leave it and move it back? Do away with the, that first national bank stage that's up in the end building. That that's up. what the hand is. Right. The, the ground just be already exploded. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think that, I think one of the things that's a real benefit of Jackson County Park is its location being right there where there's so many people that use it on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I just, I think that you'd probably even see. Um, you know, maybe even the schools using the amphitheater at times too. I mean, that, that would be a really good thing for them to use. Any other questions? I can leave. I can leave all this with you. Yeah. Um, all right, and like I said, we'll, we'll put this on the next work session after everybody's had some more time to review this. Thank you very much for all the work. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. I look forward to working with you.